Skipper, wear hair fox terrier. And if you're if you have a fox terrier or you're thinking of getting a wire hair fox terrier, this hair is very wiry and coarse. Would you like that? It's itchy there. And uh, it does grow uh, very long, so it can be clipped or it can be hand stripped, it's called. You can use a hand stripping tool, which I don't have yet. I'm going to use this cheap one I got and give it a try. So this hair does come out right now. It does shed a little bit. Uh, he was groomed uh, about a week ago and the hair is not that long. But this is something I'm learning about with a wire hair. Uh, you need to keep their hair groomed quite often, otherwise it does shed. And uh, we don't want that, so. But it can also be clipped um, using a clipper, but it's recommended to do the hand stripping because that's a better way to keep their hair so I bought this comb. It's a very thin uh, comb for trying out a little bit of hand stripping, which kind of works as well. You use your thumb and you take the comb and you have to have your wrist straight. So stand up. Turn it around. So you take your comb and your thumb and you use the thumb to pull some hair out and loose hair will come out automatically. So this is not trimming it, this is simply combing it. This is to keep the, the coat nice and healthy. So some of the hair came out just from combing it. So here's a picture of Skipper's hair. See how it's very curly and it goes in uh, a circular direction here. So you have to be careful when you hand strip to go in the same direction as how the hair grows. So for now, me as a beginner, I'm just going in the, the direction on the back and uh, where it's easy to comb and you will see the hair comes out. This is just a comb, it's not a hand stripping tool which is more like a knife to realize this hair is it's very coarse and wiry. That's why it's called wire hair. It's different from a lot of different breeds and it does get pretty long actually and very thick. It's a thick coated hair. So when you hand strip, you can hand strip it right down. So I'm still using the comb just to groom him today. See the hair comes out. Maybe gentle, and he's fine with it usually. But there's a bit of a, a like a wave to his hair, and it gets curly up here in his head. It's very coarse and thick. And when it grows, it gets even thicker. So I've heard that hand stripping keeps the, the color in the coat and if you clip it the color goes away. So we want to keep the color and we want to keep his hair coat healthy. So I do try to comb him at least two three times a week if not more and we groom him six to eight after six or eight weeks uh, we take him to the groomer if you want a wire fox terrier this wire hair grooming does take time and effort so be sure to look at this maybe before you do buy a wire hair terrier because he does need attention with his coat no I also use this brush, it's handy, has the, the wiry 
needles here and like a regular brush here. Sometimes if there's like a mat or a knot in the skin, uh, in the hair, then I hold it, this hair like this and then pull and get the, nat, the mat out. And that's the other thing you want to avoid is matted hair. So here's all the hair. If he's behaving, it's actually fun to do because the outcome is just so wonderful. He looks fluffy and clean and his hair will be quite beautiful. Even though it's wiry, it looks fluffy. Also use what's called a groomer's stone. It looks like a foam, but it's actually like sticky. So if you do your hand stripping in a similar fashion, it kind of sticks to this groomer's stone. See? So it also works. Okay. Always do it in the same direction as the hair grows. I purchased this very cheap hand stripping tool that I thought I'd give it a try before I go and purchase a more expensive one. Let's see if it works.